may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody's having a pleasant day. There was an article I was seeing on, Pro I think it's Prophecy Watch, uh, News Watch, and it was a pretty good article about what we're seeing with the hatred towards the Jews around the world. And this new, well, what's the word for it? We don't want to say the, the word in Germany. But it's that renewed hatred towards the Jewish people that Hitler once had. And you're seeing Lucifer, like we always say, he's the, literally declaring war upon the Jews once again. And these are things we need to watch for. But they had a great news article that I thought we needed to, to go over because it's so true about what things we're seeing today. It's another reason why we tell you that the rapture is coming. We're seeing this hatred being brewed from the ground and it's a sign of the imminent rapture and the tribulation the tribulation is coming you're seeing jacob's trouble that's daniel 9 27 you're seeing that start to manifest itself that's why god says when you see these prophecies start to be fulfilled look up because your redemption is running near and that's where we are we're seeing this worldwide hatred, even towards with the college kids here in America, their hatred towards the Jews. We're teaching them that's okay, but that's, see, that's evil. It's just literally brewing up from the ground. The media feeds it because Lucifer owns the media. People always ask me all the time, well, why ain't that in the media? Because Lucifer, they don't understand what's truly happening out there. Lucifer owns the media. This is not a war like you're accustomed to. They can't realize or come to the conclusion that we're at the end. They think the world's just going to keep on ticking, and it's not. What you're seeing is the beginning of the end. Us leaving and a tribulation starting. Forever they've been waiting, and people's like, well, is this going to happen? It's going to happen? Well, here now we know it's going to happen, and it's coming. We see all the signs. We see the signs of the mark of the beast. That technology is here today. China is running that technology as we speak, running their whole country. It's called the credit score system. All these things that people made a mistake many years ago thinking, you know, well, this is the time we're leaving. Now the technology is there to be able to do what the Antichrist needs. But this is a very interesting article I think I need to share because it's going to give you some insights of truly what's happening out there. Now, you that are God's sheep, you already know this. But maybe there's those out there that are baby Christians that don't know and they're not seeing it. It says, is the worldwide Jew hatred setting up the stage for the tribulation period? And it is. We've seen this before and it's coming around again. In our current social and political uh, system, people tend to see things two-dimensional, usually to the left or to the right, but that's not the way it goes. It's good versus evil. Of course, the current trends bear witness to this, causing a great deal of social and political friction, which often spills over into violence. Sometimes this is uh, agitated by nefarious forces who have deeper agenda, and sometimes it occurs or, you know, by itself, aided by spiritual enemies who, who hate mankind. And we know who that is. Uh, see, who hates the Jews and who hates God? The latest trigger point for demolical inspired violence against the Jews is the war that Israel is conducting against Hamas and Hezbollah. Aside from the spiritual uh, paradigm with, uh, with which Christians view and stand with Israel, we're supposed to, it's God's people. 
Most rational people, even unbelievers, would have a sense that symbolizing with Hamas right now is akin to endorsing the kidnap, torture, rape, beheading, and murder of Jews. People who thought that the horrors of the Holocaust were long behind them have suddenly been shaken by the terrifying sense of foreboding as people in the world call for the annihilation of the Jews once again. Like I said, Satan has declared war on Israel. It's called Jacob's Trouble, the beginning of the tribulation. You're starting to see how it is going to take place. In the early stages of Hitler's plan to exterminate the Jews, perhaps ordinary people in far-off nations would have pleaded ignorance to the Jewish plot on the basis of that the news didn't reach them. They can't do that now. However, this time around, the evidence of the Jew hatred is there for all to see and cannot resist posting their, people cannot resist posting their uh, material online for their hatred to the Jews. It must be said that this is virtually important for the Christians right now to hold biblical worldview. In short, this means that the believer clings tightly to the very scriptures that offer offer practical and spiritual wisdom that enables us to consider everything we encounter in this world for a godly perspective. For all the people, believers and unbelievers, when faced with a problem or challenge, our worldview becomes the source of the foundation which we make in our actions and response. This means that whatever content we filter into the worldview will determine how we act, speak, or think. Therefore, it is probably a little surprise that most vulgar displays of anti-Semitism have been found on college and university campuses because many colleges and universities of the era are indoctrinating the students with political, progressive, and unbiblical ideas. In other words, they're teaching the, the kids there is no God because Lucifer knew how important children are. He knows that. He also knows that they're very, very loved by God. So if he can turn the children, and that's what he's doing with the colleges and these schools and doctrinate, they're actually having that happen all the way, all the way to grade school. These are the reasons why we tell you that the rapture is coming. We see multiple signs of the tribulation bearing its ugly face, and it's coming at us. And God is letting us see these signs to know that the tribulation is on its way. The fundamental reason behind the students are taught what to think rather than how to think is an American newscaster once said, they professors dominate and intimidate the students. If you go up against them, your grade then suffers. There is a tyranny in higher education that is gravely harming this nation. That is an understatement. Lucifer took the colleges. He's taking the schools. What? How did he do this? Remember, First thing, the fall was taking God out of school. No more prayer. Get him out of the schools. Then get him out of the court system. Get him out of here. Once that happens, this Antichrist spirit that will soon take back over had room to flourish again. And it is making its way into every uh, every corner that you can look. Another reason that the colleges and universities seem to be hotbeds for hatred is that many are taught that only po- uh, uh, I don't know what that word paragon which uh, with which to view the world is an oppressor and or the oppressed class. Uh, the education system, including lower grade schools, have sought to address the culture and racial prejudice, but it has, in fact, inflamed the culture and race wars. That's what Satan does. Turns black versus white, white versus black. And see, he teaches fear. Satan is all about fear and hatred. And that's why you're seeing this. This has nothing to do with racial or anything like this. This is what people can't seem to understand. What you're seeing out there is a biblical war everywhere. When you walk out your door, you're in a war between God and Lucifer. Once you wake up to that reality, you're starting to see the pieces and the chess moves start to happen. Let's see. 
For example, James Logan High School in California offers a course in ethnic studies and social justice that aims to teach students to challenge and criticism power, opposition, capitalism, white supremacy, imperialism, and colonialism. In other words, hate this country. That's what they're teaching them. From the the website we read, ethnic studies encompass the five C's, culture, uh, competence, critical thinking, collaboration, community, and creativity. Uh, It's relevant and accurate to the cultures in our classroom and the path of the understanding of uh, appreciating everyone's identity, the facts that we create, and the evolution of identity. In other words, there's not a man or woman anymore. They were trying to change everything that God created. That is Lucifer. It ain't man doing it. Another sign of the tribulation. Mankind, as we know it, has completely and utterly shut God out, just like in the days of Noah. Another sign that we're leaving soon. That's why these are important for you to understand. It's the way, okay, for instance, on the West Coast. Stores are shutting down because people are robbing them day in, day out. Not because they're hungry. Mm -mm. Just to be stealing. We're living in a culture that does not want God. They spit at God. That's why you see them in the comments. That's why you see them attacking. Every time somebody has a dream or a vision, they come straight and attack. Straight and attack. They did Kim Fisher like this last night when she posted a video about 19 that she saw. People just viciously... Attack, 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 attack. That's Lucifer. They don't realize they're a tool of the devil, but that's what it is. They attack anything about people wanting to see Jesus, people that are looking forward to being with Jesus. That's what we do on these channels. That's why they hate us so bad. We give you hope and that you do not have to fear. Satan hates that. That's why he attacks these rapture channels, these watchman channels. Think about it. That's the reason why you'll see them in the comments. They do not want hope. They do not want us giving you hope. They don't want you to want Jesus and to be with Jesus and be looking for him. Oh, they don't want that at all. And they hate you for it. It's because they're connected to Lucifer. That doesn't mean we give up on them. That means we keep praying for them. you got to know where we are What's truly happening outside our doors and windows? Why is it so hard to reach people anymore? Why is it so hard to have a conversation about Jesus when we're out and about? These are the reasons why. Even us as watchmen and watchwomen can't seem to grasp the idea that we're in the last minutes. We're like, why is everybody doing this? Well, if you think about it, we're in the last moments. What do you think Noah had to do? In his last moments, before when he got his family onto the ark, he was having the same issues. People laughed at him. They threatened him. they done everything. They did not want the word. And as the word of God has told us this many times. But still, a lot of even watchmen and watchwomen can't grasp the idea that we are in the last minutes. I'm not one of those. I keep reminding you that these things that are happening are all prophecy. The smockers, what we call them. The hatred towards the Jews, these are all signs of the tribulation about to take place once we leave. Once you finally wake up to that fact, you realize we're not going to be here much longer. And it also wakes you up. And you can't go back to sleep once you've been awake. Cannot. And I think you as God's sheep knows what I'm talking about. Now that we're awake to what's happening around us, there is no going back to sleep. There's only the war. The war of getting people rescued and on the ark is little time that we have. Ethnic studies will help students understand how social construct is affected by race and roots caused by the oppression, power, and privilege. Furthermore, the New Haven Unified School District Ethnic Studies and Social Justice Academy, which is part of the James Logan High School, adopt the motto, Learn, Lead, Liberate, which features a socialist, racist, first grasping at a pencil. Don't be fooled by uh, the sounding name. Ethnic studies is simply critical race theory, which we're seeing run rapid within our schools. The changes aren't about education. They're about the incitement to take action to disrupt and dismantle American fundamentalism, socialism, political institutions. Minnesota's new K-12 social studies standards 
exemplifies this analogy, which is requires students to organize with other to resist uh, systemic and coordinated uh, exercises of power against marginal oppressed groups. And it has nothing to do with that. It's just all about good versus evil. Our young vote, our young adults are suppressed to be are supposed to be viewed as leaders of the future. Sadly, the education experience has led them to believe in vulgar binaries in which we must place themselves as the rest of humanity, which I was young. We often played war games. The premise was simple. There were good guys and there were bad guys. And just like those pretend war games in our youth, it would appear that many view the world through a similar and unaltered paradigm. Good guys oppressed and bad guys the oppressors. That is why, despite all the horrors of Hamas terrorist attacks on Israel, many re- refused to see Israel as the oppressed. Long ago, it was determined by social justice crusaders that Israel will uh, fall into a category of the oppressor. And because of the oppressor-oppressed narrative, people assign themselves a moral license to identify and hate the oppressor, Israel, without dis- uh, disputing their, their evidence. An early indicator of the troubled culture and the terrorist attack by Hamas teaches us anything at all is that the Western nations are deeper in deeper trouble than we thought. Many may claim the virtue of free speech must be upheld, but free speech with abuses this, pre, uh, this privilege to spew Jew hatred must be denounced and condemned. Free speech of any kind we are hearing throughout our nation is not a hallmark of a free and uh, vibrant culture. It's a hallmark of a culture which is of great spiritual peril. Here's another thing. There is no free speech in America. There is none. Just like before 2020, before the election, these BLM and different organizations burnt most of the cities in America down. Nothing was said. They didn't go to jail. They was actually let out of jail before they could even get into the jail. And then January 6th happened. And we all know what happened there. Now they are still in jail. Only one side is allowed to speak their mind. That's not free speech. It's got to be on both sides. And if it ever switches back to the other way, it's still no good. When you can only get one side of the story, but it's never going to go back to the way it was. Now good is bad and bad is good. That's what Satan wants, and that's what he's teaching. Now you're seeing this hatred towards the Jews, just like back then. This all started around 2020. And Satan has just literally, you're starting to see that evil just finally get to where it needs to be for his plan and in the tribulation. That's what you're seeing out there, the colleges, the schools, this Right, you know, what's good is wrong, what's wrong is good mentality. Erase your past. All these things are the beginning stages of the tribulation. All the beginnings of Jacob's trouble. What I'm trying to let you know with these articles, what you're seeing in the school systems, all this is a prelude to the tribulation. It's another sign and more prophecy Children that do not listen to their moms and dads anymore, cuss them, kill them. We're seeing this everywhere. This great evil has completely engulfed the youth. And that's where we are. It's another reason why we come on here day and night to let you know your time is limited. And it is. All you have to do is look outside your window. It's there. The tribulation is staring us down. You can believe that or not, but I'm here to tell you, it is. All the signs are there. They've been there. We just wasn't awake to see them. My job is to make you awake and make you see that even down to their school system, to the grade school level, the tribulation is starting to brew everywhere. Satan has declared war on all human beings of every color, every race. This evil is running amok all over the world. It's engulfing everything from our companies, our businesses, everything. It's got its hands in everything. 
a sign of the tribulation to come. We will leave very soon. These are all signs that we are leaving. Many's not going to believe it, and they'll be left. And it will not be a time that you want to be left here. This evil is almost out of control now, and the restrainer is kind of keeping it away like a flood. Because the flood, the dam is getting ready to bust, and the Holy, the restrainer is restraining it. But God is going to say, enough. And that's coming. He's already warned us of that. What the things will be, the events that will take place, we're already seeing it straight out of Scripture. That these are the days of sorrows that are coming. We leave. And then this will flood will take place. Can you not now see this hatred towards the Jews in every corner of the world? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Hitler tried it and almost exterminated them. Now, we've known forever that the next one, instead of one out of three Jews that will be killed, it will be two out of three in the tribulation. You're seeing that with your own eyes. Satan brew the hatred towards the Israelis. You're seeing it. And that's why we tell you, you are the generation that will meet the Lord in heaven in those clouds. These are all signs. The decay of humanity, the evil that we're seeing run amok around the world is all signs of the tribulation, and it's coming. We leave, and it will show its ugly face. That's how close we are. If you're lost out there, I stress this very clearly to you. You can't sit on the sidelines very much longer. The grace period is coming to an end, and it will end. This world is not going to keep going. It's not a billion years old. It's not going to keep ticking. It will end. The Word of God tells us that. And there is no other truth but the Word of God. Everything else you've ever learned in school from anything is a lie. What you will know is what comes out of the Word of God is the only truth, and there is only one God. That's the truth. Trust in the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for me and you. So don't ever say he never loved you. Because he loved you. He died for you. For your past, present, and future sins. And all you got to do is accept a free gift and you'll live forever. And if you don't accept that gift, you won't die. But you will spend eternity in hell alive with Lucifer himself. Many people won't tell you that. They're afraid they're going to make you mad and make you leave. Afraid they're going to lose their subscribers, but hell is real. And you don't want to go there. My job is to convince you that Jesus is coming, and he is. Don't trust me. Ask him yourself. He will give you the signs just like he has many others. Through dreams, visions, just by through the word of God itself. He will give you what you need. All you got to do is ask. But he died was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. You trust and believe in that, you're ready to get out of here. You'll be on that ark and not have to go through this hell that this earth and these smockers think is funny. They think they're going to escape it, but they won't. One third of the population of earth will die in one day once we leave. Do not be left here. You think you're feeling brave, you're going to fight the Antichrist? you'll probably, nine times out of ten, never make it past the first day. You'll be killed. Your tons of water and your tons of food is not going to help you. Your guns are not going to help you. There is no help. It's a supernatural seven years of hell. It's not like here today when we just have a bad year. It's nothing like that. I'm talking 21 days judgments that this world has never faced ever and just smashed into a seven year period get on the ark while you can listen the gift's free and you don't have to go through this stuff now I mean he's going to tell you you do but they're lying to you you can either believe God or you can believe them 
All you want, if you want to know we're truly living, just ask Jesus. He'll show you. He'll show you in the Word of God. Many people won't do that because they're pride. I don't have no pride. All you got to do is ask Jesus. It's what I did. He showed me. He'll show you. Do you truly want to know the truth? Ask him. He'll tell you. Trust in the Lord and accept that free gift while you can. Many is going to laugh at us. They're going to attack us. They're like, well, when's this rapture going to happen? It ain't going to happen. It will happen. Listen to me very clearly. Jesus is coming. The church will be pulled. I can tell you that a thousand percent. I can tell you it without even flinching. Look into my eyes. The king of Jews is on his way. And he will get the church out of here. And the time of grace is coming to an end. It might drag a little bit. And we don't know when it is. But I can sit here and a thousand percent tell you. The church is leaving. And it's leaving soon. Because all the indication of the hatred that's brewing. And this evil. We leave before that can make its way to the Psalm 83 war that's about to take place. We have to be gone before then, and we will be. So what we do here on this channel, we give you the evidence, we give you the articles, and you have free will to make the choice of, on, of your own. And those, the others, the ones that are God's sheep, they come here to have a, a safe place to be able to talk about how great it is that Jesus is coming. Because you should be more excited. You shouldn't be afraid of anything because you have Jesus. And there's nothing to fear. Right now should be the greatest time in your life. Rejoice. Jesus is coming to get the church. We're going to be in heaven. We're not going to deal with this job. That's why they hate us so bad. We give you hope. They don't want you to have hope. They want you to be scared hiding under your bed. I'm not going to do that. You have Jesus. And there is no fear on this world. There is nothing that can harm you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. You have nothing to fear. You are God's children. Do not fear this world or man. You are protected by the Lord himself. And you will be home with him very soon. Don't let anybody discourage you. Jesus loves you. That's why he brought you here. So we could constantly remind you of how much he truly loves you. So don't forget it. When Satan fights you, you fight back harder. Because Jesus don't give up on us. We're not going to give up on him. May It may seem that each day drags by and we can't get out of here, but Jesus, he's always on time. Never forget that. Our Father is always on time. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.